Hello and welcome to this introduction to retargeting with Avastar. This short video shows only the basic workflow in a nutshell. However, a much more detailed tutorial has been recorded by Optimo Maximo. You find Optimo's video published as a companion to this demo. So, retargeting is remapping an animation to a different armature. This will allow us to load ready-made animation files, and apply these animations to the Avastar rig. Ok, let's start with the textured Avastar template. Now let's clean up the tool shelf a bit. And then let's import one of the second life default animations. Go to File. Import. Motion Capture. Then select your animation. Please note that ready-made second life animations use the unit of inches, so we have to rescale the import to meters. We can do this right in the importer's operator panel. However note that BVH files do not know about scaling, so the scaling is undefined and can vary a lot. In practice you have to find out the scaling for your BVH files by experiment. When the upload of the BVH file was successful, then a new armature appears in the viewport. Sometimes the imported rig seems to start or terminate in the wrong direction. But you don't need to worry about this for now, it is just how the animation has been created. So, let us now take a look at the tool shelf. A new motion transfer panel has been opened here. This panel only gets available when you have at least one Avastar character, and at least one other armature in your current scene. And when we have exactly two armatures in the scene, then Avastar can even calculate which of the rigs is the animation source, and which is the animation target. So in our case there is nothing left to do here, and we can proceed to the next step. So, in the next line we see the bone mapping section. Here we define the mapping of the bones from the source rig to the target rig. Optimo Maximo will later explain in great detail how this can be done manually. However in some cases Avastar can even guess the mapping automatically. In this demo Avastar has identified the imported BVH file as a second life animation and it calculates an automatic mapping based on its assumption. Note that the animation does not contain bones for the feet and toes. This is normal for BVH files made for second life. Please note that Avastar assumes the length of the animation is given by the start frame and the end frame as defined in the timeline. Hence we will now match Blender's end frame with the last animation frame. Ok, so next we have to find or create a reference frame. This can be any frame in the timeline, ideally the T-pose. If your animation file does not contain a T-pose, then just go to any frame outside of your animation, then switch the source to pose mode. Select all bones. And reset their rotation. Finally key all bones. By hitting the I key on the keyboard and then key only rotations. In our case we just use frame 0 for this purpose, and ensure that the correct reference frame is also set in the motion transfer panel. Remember that any frame can be used as reference, you only need to match the two poses of the source and the target as good as possible in size, rotation and scale. Finally call transfer motion. You might need to wait a few seconds or even longer until the transfer has been fully processed. Now the animation has been fully retargeted to the Avastar character, and you can play, modify, and finally export it again for example as .nm file. Of course there are a few caveats to be taken into account. So I will now pass you over to Optimo Maximo, who will take you through an entire manual retarget session, and give you many hints and tricks how to use the Blender tools for improving your imported animations. 